The exhaust system on the first generation FRS86 BRZ platform is one of the most popular areas for modification because it's one of the easiest ways to unlock a little bit of additional power on this notoriously underpowered FA20 engine. Now it's also of course a great way to unlock that boxer sound and get the car singing and sounding great. Now there's five different sections of the exhaust system and we're going to go through each of those in order from front to back and talk about the different considerations for each of those sections, what you need to know and what you can expect. From the factory, your car only makes about 200 horsepower at the crank, and that translates to around 170 wheel horsepower. Not exactly anything to write home about. And it's got a big dip in torque between 3 and 5k RPM, which is the wrong place to have a torque dip. So one of the most popular ways to get a quick bang for the buck increase in power and torque and to fix that torque dip is by replacing that restrictive exhaust manifold with a set of performance headers. Now of course there's a lot of options in the industry when it comes to headers and we're going to outline a bunch in this video but there's some major considerations to think about. Are you going to go with equal length or unequal length headers? Equal length headers are going to give you the most overall power and torque gains at the top end of the spectrum and they're going to sound more like a traditional four cylinder engine, whereas an unequal length header is going to help fill in that torque dip and smooth that power band out and it's going to give you that more boxer sound, it's going to really accentuate the FA20's sound. Next up are you going to have a catted or uncatted headers. Catless headers of course are going to be race only and you need to check your local laws to know whether or not you can do that but they're going to give you the biggest sound and the biggest power gains while catted are not going to quite flow as much and they're going to control the sound a bit more. They're also going to cost a touch more. And lastly, how much less are they going to weigh than the 21 pound exhaust manifold and in some cases you can save up to 11 pounds which is a 50% weight savings in this situation. The first set of headers we're going to recommend comes from Borla. Now this is one of the leading manufacturers of exhaust systems in the world. You really can never go wrong with Borla. We recommend and sell these a lot. Now these headers are a short tube unequal length header that are going to basically almost completely eliminate that torque dip which I think is really really important in the way that the car feels. And it's also going to really unlock that boxer sound from your FA20 and give it a really nice throaty sound because this is a catless header. These are only $700 and they'll gain you between 10 and 15 horsepower with just replacing the headers alone and that can bump up to nearly 20 if you combine it with a catback exhaust system. And they are the lightest option in the industry at 10.2 pounds, that's a more than 50% weight savings over your stock manifold. Now keep in mind, anywhere I talk about power gains in this video, you are going to need a tune to achieve these. If you're changing the headers especially, you absolutely have to combine that with a tune, otherwise the car is just not going to run right. Your next two options are made by Tomei, and Tomei is a really well known brand for applications in the JDM industry. Now they make two choices, equal length or unequal length, both are going to set you back around $750, they're both catless, and they both weigh around 15 pounds, which is only a 5 or 6 pound savings from your exhaust manifold. But they are going to produce 10 to 15 horsepower without a catback system and up to 20 additional horsepower if you combine it with a catback system and they're going to give you a very loud aggressive racy sound that they're known for. Now the equal length headers are going to give you a little bit more top end torque gain and keep the sound more like a traditional four cylinder whereas the equal length headers are actually going to fill in that mid range torque gap and they're going to really accentuate the FA20's boxer sound. Our next option is going to come from AFE Power, again one of the largest manufacturers in this industry, extremely good reputation, fantastic build quality and you can never go wrong buying an AFE product, even if it costs just a touch more. Now this is the first of our catted options. If you want to retain a catalytic converter or you need to because of the state you live in or you really don't want that super loud aggressive racy sound out of the car and you want that cat to help control the sound, this AFE option is going to be one of your best choices. Now this is an equal length header so it's going to give you those big top end power gains and it's not going to accentuate that boxer sound quite as aggressively but you're not going to miss it 100%. Because it's a catted option it's only going to net you about 10 horsepower and this product weighs in around 18 pounds which is a 3 pound weight savings but that is with a catalytic converter so you're going to expect it to be a little heavier anyway. Our next manufacturer is going to be JDL, one of the most popular brands in this industry because of this nice aggressive purr that it brings to the mid range of the frequency. Now they make several different options. You can get their unequal length headers catless for $750 and you can get those ceramic coated for an additional $150 bringing it to $900. Still going to produce around 10 to 15 horsepower up to 20 if you pair it with a catback exhaust. Now they also make an equal length header for the same price, that's going to give you that big top end power again, that big top 
top end uh, torque, it's not gonna fill in that torque dip the way that the unequal length are. And lastly, they make an unequal length version with a catalytic converter, and that comes in around 1250. So this is gonna be one of your more pricey options, but if you're looking for that boxer sound and to fix that mid-range torque curve, but you also want a cat, this is your option. And our last option here is definitely the premium choice out of all these options, and that is the Ace A350. These are gonna set you back $2,000. Now, don't click away yet. There is a good reason, and this is a pretty good value considering the kind of performance gains that you can get from this product. What they've done here is replace the stock overpipe. So they actually created a proper long tube header that goes right back to the front pipe. By doing this, they're able to go from four tubes down to two and then down to one. And by doing that, they're giving you maximum top end power and torque gains up to 30 wheel horsepower gained on 91 octane. Additionally, it is a best of both worlds situation because this design allows them to also eliminate that mid end torque dip that you saw. So you have the best of both worlds, like an equal length header getting rid of that torque dip, plus the maximum power gains you can expect. They also only weigh 13.2 pounds, just a little bit header, a little bit heavier than the Borla's, and that's a proper eight pounds of weight savings over the factory system. The next section of the exhaust system is gonna be the overpipe. Now, this is not an area where you see a lot of people focusing about getting performance gains, because it really is, even in the factory system, just a pipe. So most of the manufacturers of front pipes are gonna also make an overpipe, and it's really your choice. You can reuse the stock, or you can get an aftermarket one if you just want everything to be new in there, but there's not a whole lot to talk about, so let's move on to the next section. Next section of your exhaust system is gonna be the front pipe, and this is where you're gonna find the second catalytic converter in your stock exhaust system. Now, a lot of people do just stick with their stock catalytic converter and don't bother making mods here because if you change this, it will get much, much louder. Even if you go with a high flow cat, the volume will go up, and if you go catless, your exhaust system will end up being very, very loud, and you run the risk of getting it to be a little bit raspy. But if you're going for maximum power, you can gain an additional one to three horsepower by replacing this part. Your first two options are gonna be made by NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA makes both of their front pipes with resonators, but they make a catless resonated version and then a catted resonated version. The catless version is gonna be 320 bucks, while with the cat is gonna set you back around 500. Now, that's gonna help control the sound, but you're gonna get big sound gains out of both of these, putting the sound level on the non-catted version at about a four out of five. And this is also gonna weigh only 7.2 pounds, which is a full five pound weight savings over the stock front pipe. Your next two options are gonna be made by Burke. They make a high flow catted version and a catless version, but both are not resonated. So you're gonna get more accentuated pops and clicks out of these, and they are gonna be loud, between four and five out of five. They're only gonna set you back about $250 for the version with the cat and 200 bucks for the non cat version, which is a great value. Now the cat version weighs nine pounds and the non cat version weighs eight pounds, saving you two to three pounds over stock. Your next option comes from Tomei, and this is what you want if you wanna make the most obnoxious sound you can possibly make. This is gonna be the five out of five sound option because it's a straight pipe, no resonators and no cats, but it's extremely light because it's made out of titanium. The 60 millimeter version costs about 400 bucks and it's only gonna weigh three pounds, which is a full nine pound savings over stock, and they make an 80 millimeter version which is only a half a pound heavier. And if you're looking for somebody that offers all kinds of different options, check out the options from JDL. Now they range from $300 to $730 and they come in all kinds of different configurations. Resonated, resonated with a cat, double resonated but catless. They even make a version that includes a replacement over pipe that's built right in and they offer different pipe diameters as well. And the next section of the exhaust is gonna be the catback exhaust, which is a combination of the mid pipe and the muffler back section. Now this is really, really where you're gonna tune the sound of your exhaust. This is not where you're gonna gain a lot of horsepower. This is not the restrictive part of this, of this system. So if you're somebody who doesn't wanna bump the power up or you don't wanna do headers because they seem complicated, don't expect to get a lot of power gains out of this. We wanna be really honest that the most power you'll see out of a system like this is probably gonna be around five horsepower but it will make your 86 FRS or BRZ sound a lot better. Let's start with options that come in under $1,000, beginning with the NVIDIA N1, which at $675 is a very popular and great value option because it includes a resonator, which is gonna help eliminate any of the rasp or the drone while still giving that deep, aggressive tone. The system only weighs 29 pounds, so it's almost a 10 pound savings. Another option comes from Borla, and that's their S-type catback exhaust, which are always designed to have a more modest sound than their Attack series, which are very loud. So at $840, 
dollars, you're gonna get more of a touring sound exhaust. It's gonna control that sound. It's still gonna be deep and throaty, but it's not gonna get loud and aggressive like some of the other options out there. And it still only weighs 28 pounds, a solid 10 pounds lighter than stock. Coming in at almost the exact same price point at $840 is the Magnaflow Street Series. Now this is gonna be a signature Magnaflow exhaust. A lot like the Borla S-Type, it's gonna control that sound. It's gonna, it's gonna be very smooth and deep, but not loud and aggressive. Now you gotta know that this system does weigh 43 pounds because it's a pretty big muffler that they've put in there to tune the sound of this. So you're not gonna have any weighty savings. You're actually gonna gain a little bit over the stock system. And last up on our list of under $1,000 catback exhaust systems is gonna be the Gretti Evolution. GT and at $900 it is known to be a very loud and aggressive catback exhaust system similar to the Nvidia M1 but with a little bit of a cleaner tone. Now it weighs a little bit under 35 pounds making it only three pounds lighter than stock but it is a very popular option. Now let's talk about the more premium options at $1,000 or more, starting with the Tomei Extreme Tie, which comes in at a thousand bucks even, and is fully titanium and is a single exit exhaust. Now, in true Tomei fashion, you're gonna end up with a very loud, aggressive, racy sounding exhaust system, but it is going to be extremely light. At 17 pounds, it is exactly half the weight of the stock exhaust system. Two more popular options come out of the team over at Perrin Performance. They make a 2.5 inch system for your regular applications, or if you're going forced induction, you can look at their three inch system. Starting at a thousand bucks, these are known for producing a really nice, smooth, deep sound. Nowhere near as loud as the Tomei, but unfortunately, you're not gonna save much weight over stock, about three pounds. Our next very popular option is from Corsa, and that's their Sport Catback, and it sets you back around $1,100, and the reason you would look at this is because it has a very unique sound. Corsa spends a lot of time focusing on tuning the sound of their exhaust systems, and what you're gonna get is no rasp, no drone, but still a deep, aggressive, and sporty tone. Coming in at the premium end of the spectrum is gonna be the NVIDIA Q300 system, which at $1,200 is almost double that of the NVIDIA N1. But the NVIDIA M1 is gonna be your more loud and aggressive sound. It's got some cool characteristics to it. The Q300 is gonna take all those same characteristics and just dial down the volume and the aggression a little bit and give it a more refined, smooth sound. But it's still a unique exotic sound coming out of this exhaust system and people really, really like it. They also love that you can get it with burnt titanium tips. Now that we've got power and sound sorted out, let's take a hard left and start talking about how to improve the handling and ride quality on our 86 FRS BRZ platform. Head on over to our suspension video where we're gonna take a deep dive and talk about coilovers, sway bars, and all the mods you can do to get this thing cornering with confidence. The links to the products that we talk about in this video are gonna be in the description, and you can always reach out to us at 833 Motoroso or live chat at motoroso.com. Thanks for watching.